but we always call it a keyhole. So, you know, it's got this stream of water coming out because it's pulling seawater in to keep the engine cool. If it's not coming out, we're not going underway. Make sense? The other thing we're going to do is while we're tied up, you're going to go into reverse just to make sure it shifts when you go into forward. And when you do that, everybody stand up and see if you can see this controller right here. Now I'll have you go back. This is a commercial control. It does not have, move your hand just a minute. Most pleasure boats have a little switch under here. You have to squeeze it in order to shift. That's a safety. This has no safety. If Cat wanted to, she could go from full forward to full reverse and just ruin my lower unit and throw all of us <laughs> off the boat. So if you make her mad, <laughs> don't do it. The other thing about this though, all these controllers have something called neutral, clutch speed, and then a big range where nothing happens. And there's also the accelerator. So you can snap it up into clutch speed. Don't go slowly. Let me, I'm going to show them what it sounds like when you do it wrong. <laughs> so what you're going to do is just snap it to that location. Go ahead and go forward. Just like that. You'll hear a clunk. You notice we're, on, we're against the line. So go to neutral. Now stop. Whenever you keep going, you're not neutral yet. There you go. Oh, it's cool. a little bit of a, yeah. It's got like a weird gap. Yeah. It's also pointed this way, which is not the way. So now, <coughs> before you go from any forward to reverse or reverse to forward, you stop and you don't go directly into either one of those gears. If things change too fast, you grind the gears. So you're going to pause in neutral. That's uh, somebody, a couple of friends of Brian just discovered an empty kayak and something else floating. The Coast Guard had put out a pon-pon this morning. Pon-pon means look out for any boat. They look out for a boat that's been reported as an empty boat floating in the area of. So fishermen, you know, out there went and found it and called the Coast Guard so the Coast Guard would deploy, which is that whole thing about this thing. Yeah. So anyway, this is clutch speed. That's clutch speed. That's what I want anywhere near a dock. Don't go any faster near a dock than clutch speed unless you have to. And the only time you'd have to is if the wind's really blowing you off the dock. So clutch speed is slow, but that's how fast you want to go if you hit something. Once in a while, your motor will stall. And if your motor stalls when you're going fast, you've lost your brakes. There's only one way to slow down a boat, and that's to put it in reverse. So you want to be able to go from forward to neutral to reverse without suddenly changing anything. And if the motor stalls, you have no other way to stop the boat other than let it run into something. So far, so good? Well, you guys can go ahead and sit down. Okay, Lorene.